Hi everyone, it's Marianne. So today I'm finally doing the closet clean out, which was something that I wanted to do when I did my plant organization video. It was supposed to be a plant and room organization, but never got to the room organization part. Well, at least for the closet. So I'm tackling that today. And unlike my previous closet clean outs or room makeover videos, this is going to be like a full KonMari method, meaning I'll be taking everything out in my closet and really decide what I want to keep, what I want to store and what I should just let go or give away, donate, sell, whatever. So I just want to make sure everything in the closet is something that I use, whether seasonally or I always use. And also I have to put some of my crafting stuff in there too. So I just need to make sure that everything is organized well and efficiently in the closet. So that's what I'm going to do now, but it's already kind of like mid-afternoon so i'll see i mean the goal is to finish this all in one day or all in one afternoon but that might be a tall order so at least for today i want to do the organizing of the top shelves and maybe the bottom shelves and then tackle the clothes next but before i start i'm going to do laundry first just so every piece of clothing that i have i can make decisions on and make sure that they have a spot in the closet if i so choose to keep them and i want to share a product with you which is the true earth eco stripes laundry detergent and this is not sponsored i did pay for this with my own money i learned about this product from michael chancy i've been watching her videos even before i started doing youtube videos myself and I've always been looking out for an eco-friendly, sustainable laundry detergent that I could replace the liquid detergent that I've been using right now because they come in these big bottles. And after you kind of like use them up, it just goes to recycling. But honestly, a lot of the plastic that we recycle never get recycled anyway. So I'm trying to look for something that's more eco-friendly. And I keep seeing this in her channel. So I want to try it out. And I did purchase it. And this one is the Fresh Linen 32 Loads. And I've actually been using this for two weeks and I've already done about six loads and so far it's been working really well for my clothes I don't see any difference using this or the regular liquid detergent that I've been using my clothes smell fresh clean look clean so I'm really liking it I've also washed my sheets with this one too and they also work really well for it so yeah so I'm gonna use this one now to do another load of laundry and if you do want to try it out I leave the link down in the description I am now an affiliate of true earth though so just a full disclosure if you use the link down in the description then I get a small commission from it and I think if you go through your website and find a discount code if I find it I'll also put it down in the description for like I think at least 10% off or I maybe I could put Mikael's discount code I think her discount code is Mikael10 so you can get at least 10% off if you want to try this True Earth Eco Strips laundry detergent but so far I've been loving it and I think I'm going to keep using it So I might have to do a second load because the washing machine is already filled with my clothes. I didn't realize that I already accumulated that much dirty clothes. But with this one, all you need is one strip per load and that's pretty much it. Okay, so while the laundry is going, I'm going to clear out the closet. And to recap, if you haven't seen my plant organization video, this is what it currently looks like. Yeah, so it's not bad, it's just disorganized. And there's definitely a lot of stuff here that I could possibly get rid of or just store somewhere else. So what I'm going to start with is the top shelf and this side and then the bottom and then tackle the clothes. So I'm gonna do that and I might move the plants just so they're not in the way and they don't get damaged, especially the Phi Constellation Monstera. I think this one is due for watering, not really sure. I'm always scared of overwatering it, so I try to push it as far as I possibly can. But this leaf is kind of like saying, yep, I need water, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna move it and do the closet. All right, the top shelf is empty and I got rid of my bags. This one that I still need to repaint and pack my bags. Got to make a decision which I'm going to keep, store or give away. Scarves and caps, graduation tassels, <laughs> some scrapbooks and photo albums over there. So this one I have to like 
organize and put up there and also add some of my Cricut crafting stuff so that they're easy access and we're gonna take out some more of the stuff that are over here yep so I've taken out more stuff that I need to organize and I'm gonna take down everything down here and then work with that first before I clear out my, all my clothes because like I said yes I want to clear out the entire closet but I don't I want to do it in two parts so the stuff that I need to organize it's not my clothes and then my clothes so just the shoes left and I'm actually glad that I'm doing this today because tomorrow is trash day so everything that I am not keeping or need to throw away it goes to the trash tomorrow Okay, so the top is empty, the bottom is empty. This one does contain my clothes, but I'm gonna keep it in there for now. And I'm just gonna vacuum and clean it and make decisions on <laughs> everything that's going on here. Ugh. Okay, vacuum, clean it, also took this one out. And now it's time to make decisions and stuff I'm gonna keep. So let's start with the shoes first so I can put this one back right in now. Okay, this is the shoe situation. I kind of lined them up so I could like really see. And honestly, this is pretty much all I have. I have a um, sneakers and hiking boots downstairs, but that is pretty much it. So not a lot is gonna go, but some are probably gonna go in storage. This one, I'm letting go. I've worn this since I was an intern in DC, so I could let this one go. And this one, I was already letting this go, but my sister said keep it because it's back in style. But honestly, I'm not wearing it. So letting this one go. This one are my staples. I'm keeping them. This one I haven't worn in years, but come on. There's no way I'm letting that go. So I do wear that on special occasions, weddings and stuff. So I'm keeping it. This one I hardly wear, but I am keeping it because I use it when I do travel. And over here... This one is practically brand new. I bought it, but when I started wearing it, it was uncomfortable. So this one is probably also gonna go. And this one I am keeping, but this is traditional Filipino sandals, as you can see like the intricate artwork at the bottom. So definitely not throwing this away, but I'm going to store it properly. So it's not among my shoes. And this one is a sandals that I have quite for a while, but honestly, I haven't been wearing in a long time so I'm debating letting it go so this one letting go this storing and everything else is going back in the closet so here I put photo albums that I want to keep and yes this was my prop box and now I'm gonna put this books over here and of course I am keeping that scrapbook is that so I put my bags over there the scrap bugs and this one over here and these are the bags that I am giving away and oh not this one <laughs> okay. yeah so these are the bags that I am giving away this one I don't know why I'm keeping it this is like my target practice for the one time that I went target shooting shoes that I'm giving away and then let's decide on this stuff I'm not a scarves person so as much as I like this I am just gonna give them away because I never use it and I'm only keeping this couple ones because these are from Indonesia and it's actually called batik scarf and this scarf that I do use over the winter that I actually knitted myself and this is the only scarf that I successfully knitted so I am keeping this honestly not so bad so this is the state of the closet right now everything is organized up there and that was my diploma that I actually broke the frame up so I need to get that reframed the shoes are over here already starting to get messy and here I have the two storage boxes and my ring light and I'm gonna bring in my tripod so this grow light 
actually well it still works but one of them doesn't work anymore i'm just gonna give it away i'll i don't know i'll post it in one of my facebook plant groups that i'm in see if somebody wants to pick it up if not i'm just going to bring that to goodwill and then these two tripods i use this one i don't i think this one can also go to goodwill i don't know if it still works i don't think so because i think i'm missing this top part here or i might have seen it earlier but we will see and this one is trash and this is stuff that i don't want to put in a closet but i need to store somewhere and a bunch of bags that i kind of don't want to let go but we'll find a place and it's friday so i did continue my closet clean out the very next day like i said but you know life happened so i'm going to finish it now and tomorrow hopefully with all the stuff that i think i'll be donating i'll drop them off goodwill not sure though if i'll be able to include it in this vlog it might just be the cost of clean out but let me show you the progress so far and today we're strictly just tackling my clothes so let's go ahead and check my closet so ta-da so on the top, I have my bags arranged up there, my scrapbook, some stuff that just don't have particular space, like my camera, some jewelry, glasses, and then all my Cricut crafting stuff and Etsy stuff. And this is a perfume box that I'm probably going to take out. And this screen camera that I bought, I think um thanksgiving last year but i never learned how to use it i just like opened it out of the box so i think i'm just gonna sell it because i don't know how to use it and this is just a test tubes from a propagation station which will also be gone once i finally sell off that prop station and with this one i kind of cleared off a lot of stuff i just have a reusable bags and a couple of the scarves that i saved down here is Pretty okay. So this storage boxes have clothes that I am sorting out today. Back there are the shoes that I have left and some more Cricut stuff. And over here, I do have my ring light, my diploma, my sad undergraduate diploma. But I broke the frame, so I'm going to need to get that reframed. And I do have some stuff that, electronics, that I need to clear out before I can sell them. And this is just like clothes that I am donating and a couple of storage boxes there like i said so the bottom part probably needs a little bit more improvement and this one is what i am sorting out today along with the clothes so that is what we're gonna do so let's go ahead and do it okay so let's start with whatever's in front so i kind of like want to take it out of the closet in a way that it's not going to be hard for me to sort it out but you know what i'm just going to put it out loud and see what happens Right, I'm just going to pile them on top of each other. I already spotted clothes that I haven't worn in a long time, so probably it's time to get rid of them. And I also have a habit of, well, I guess it's like not really unique experience to me, but I also have a habit of keeping clothes that doesn't fit me and thinking I'll fit into them one day. So if I have them for years and I'm still not fitting to them, then maybe it's time to let them go, you know? And I also like to keep clothes that I don't wear, but just have sentimental value to me. And that is true for a lot of the stuff that I have in the storage boxes, like t-shirts from college that I should probably let go, but haven't let go yet. And the thing is though, I have decluttered a lot of my clothes since last year, or maybe for like the past two or three years. And I still have quite a lot, so that is crazy. And I know I don't wear more than half of the clothes that I currently have in my closet. Even some of the stuff that are seasonal, I don't even wear them during the season that they're meant for, so. But the thing is though, I have given away clothes or sold clothes that I regret giving away or selling later on and I kind of miss them. So that's kind of like the balance that I want to strike. Like I want to keep clothes that I do wear, I do use, but at the same time, I don't want to be letting go of clothes that I know I'm going to regret letting go later on. And as I mentioned in previous videos, like, Decluttering is great, but if decluttering means just creating more waste, then maybe I should reconsider the stuff that I'm decluttering. Maybe I can find a second use for them 
if not me wearing them or just like be able to recycle or upcycle them in some way because yeah we can donate some clothes but sometimes we really have to be honest with the clothes that are we donating like do you think somebody would buy the clothes that we are donating or we're just giving them to goodwill or whatever thrift store for them to throw out so that we don't have to throw them out ourselves and this is the last one not including the ones that I have in the storage boxes. So I'm going to do this first because I don't want to create a lot of mess and then tackle the ones in the storage boxes. That one I think is going to be pretty easy. It's just like, you know, throwing away some very raggedy t-shirts. So, okay. First off, my Alpha Phi Omega hoodie already falling apart. But again, this is one of those college hoodies that have a lot of sentimental value. I'm probably not gonna throw it out. I still do wear it, so this one I'm gonna keep. Definitely keeping this, but probably not worth hanging up. And this one, I know I just bought this. I got this from Costco, so definitely keeping it. This one is from Tantry, which is the sustainable clothing company from Canada. This is one of the crew neck shirts that I got from them. It says, be happy. One of my favorite hoodies or crew neck shirts. The only problem with their products though is it peels very easily but i love their crew necks and their hoodies i also have another one that is probably in this pile somewhere and this is a disney shirt that my sister just recently got me so definitely keeping this this is brand new and this one is a shirt that i got from reformation also very recently i wore this in hawaii and i actually only got this for 10 cents because for some reason i have a reformation gift card that i got in an email from reformation I didn't question it, I used it, so I just got this shirt for 10 cents. This my sister made during the early days of the panorama where everyone was like dyeing their hoodies. So it has a few stains, which again, my fault, but keeping it. Maybe this is something that I am going to be letting go. So this dress, I love this dress. I got this from Ross, but what I did was I cut off the bottom because it was too long. But then the hem is now like uneven. But I don't have a sewing machine and I don't think this would look good hand stitched. And I have been meaning to get a sewing machine for the longest time. But I haven't gotten around it because A, they are expensive. Second, I don't really know how to sew. So this one, I'm not sure if I'm keeping or not. So this is going in the meat. This one, this is one of my best thrips. This is not from Goodwill. This is like from a thrift store. In Woodbridge, Virginia, and this is a raincoat. So definitely keeping this. I use this on rainy days as well as this one along with this one. So they were actually brand new with tags and the staff and Goodwill were just taking them out literally off the rack. So these two jackets I'm never gonna let go till the day I die because these are my best thrift store finds ever. So this one is a Puffer vest from Banana Republic that I got at the outlet store when I was Christmas shopping with my friend a few years back. So I get sentimental value or sentimental memory attached to it, but honestly, I don't wear it. So this is probably one that might end up in the donation pile. So talking about clothes that I keep but don't wear because they don't fit me, but they're pretty. This one my sister gave me. It doesn't fit her too. This one that I got from H&M on sale. So I kept this because, you know, I was like, you know, one day I'm going to fit into these jumpsuits, but I haven't fit in them. So I, this one at least I think I am keeping because I really like it. This one might end up me selling or donating. So this one I also got an outlet mall. I have worn it a few times. I love it. It is getting a little bit yellow. So I haven't worn it in a while, to be honest. So I am going to keep it, uh, but we will see. It might be one of those that I have to let go eventually, but for now, I am keeping it. So I never went to Berkeley, but I got this when I went to San Francisco the first time and went to the Berkeley campus and got it. And every time I wear this while I'm in D.C., Berkeley people come up to me and say hi. People always like, go Bears! I was like, sure, buddy. I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. Keeping for sentimental reasons, a Maryland sweatshirt. And so this one is also brand new with tags. Never worn it because it doesn't fit me. But this one is like from Mulan. 
I've been very hesitant to let it go because I really love this hoodie even though it doesn't fit me I might put it on sale see if it gets snatched up on Poshmark but if not I am keeping it next one is the fall leather jacket from forever 21 I actually didn't get it from forever 21 I got this from thread up so I think this was my very first and only thread up order and I like it it does fit me but it's a little bit tight on the shoulders so I don't wear it often but I've always wanted a motorcycle jacket and this is the one that I found closest to the style that I want so I haven't worn it in a while too but the thing is though I barely go out so that's why a lot of the clothes that I have I don't get to wear because I barely go out so I I want to keep it and this one is a jumper very 90s I got this from a thrift store for six dollars probably not letting it go so I'm gonna try to wear this a little bit more during spring and summer okay so this white denim jacket this one is from Zara the only item that I actually bought from Zara because once I found out Zara is not a good company, I stopped buying clothes from them. And the reason I bought this denim, this white denim jacket is because it came back in style. But I had another one before this that I gave away. So I bought another one and said I'm not going to give this one away because I regretted giving away the first denim, the first white denim jacket that I had. So this one kind of like the same with the motorcycle jacket. It fits me but very tight on the shoulder area. So, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to keep it. So, this I've been wearing since grad school and during my intern days in D.C. Or even my professional days in D.C. So, probably going to keep it. But this is my only black blazer, so I guess I have to keep it. So, this swimsuit is from Reformation. I also got it from sale. It doesn't fit me anymore, so I'm going to be selling this one. I wear this every summer, so you see me wear this in my videos all the time. So, of course, I am not giving this up. Dress from Lauren Conrad. This Reformation blazer dress. Keeping them. This, you see me wear in almost every video. I love the fit of this sweater it has a green bow at the back which you never see because it's at the back when i film videos so definitely keeping this so this is the other hoodie from 10 tree i think this is one of their more popular or most popular designs so definitely keeping this one i got from madewell it is a little bit too oversized for me so it doesn't fit well so i think i'm gonna sell this so this one is a romper i got this from my sister Rompers don't look good on me, but this one does. So I actually took pictures wearing this while I was on the Brooklyn Bridge, sharing it over here. So I'm gonna keep it. This dress I got for $9 at Ross. It looks like a Reformation dress, but it is not. And I haven't really had a chance to wear it anywhere, but I might wear it if I still fit in it. Uh, at a birthday party, well, a one-year-old's birthday party that is coming up um, this April. It's uh, one of my college friends' second kids' first year party, and she invited me to it. I might wear this. We will see, and if it still fits me. So this one is another one from Meadwell. It is also kind of big on me, slash it doesn't fit well. So I'm going to try to sell this also on Poshmark. This one I'm keeping. This is my rash guard. I highly recommend getting a rash guard, especially if you're going to be outdoors a lot over the spring and summer because this offers SPF 50 protection. So if you're not the type of person who always reapplies sunblock, especially on their body, get a rash guard, wear it when you're outside. This one I also often wear. Uh, and I mean, I shouldn't feel bad keeping clothes if I'm wearing them all the time, right? This one is my go-to sundress, so definitely keeping that. This one is the 50th anniversary spread jersey from Disney World. Haven't worn it at all, so definitely keeping it. All right, t-shirt that I made, I'm keeping. These are sarongs from Hawaii, so of course I'm keeping them. And this, which you saw me wear a lot in my Hawaii vlog, so definitely keeping this one. So, I am definitely keeping a lot more <laughs> than I am supposed to let go but I mean that was the point right is for me to organize my clothes and not necessarily throw half of them away 
So I had this dress for years, never letting it go. It's also my go-to sundress. This one is an anthropology blazer that I was able to thrift. And this is a Lauren Conrad jacket that I got on sale at Kohl's. So this one I do wear a lot. This one, I don't think I have worn at all because it's also kind of tight on the shoulders. A running theme in a lot of my clothes because I have very thick arms that they don't fit around the shoulders. So, but I am keeping it. So this jacket is from Calvin Klein. I think my mom got it for me. I haven't worn this in a long time too, but again, I haven't worn a lot of my clothes because I don't go out a lot, especially this past two years over the pandemic. So the most that you see me go out is like when I share with you my travel vlogs and when I go on errands once a week, sometimes not even. Battery overheated while I was filming, but here is kind of the final result. So with the clothes, I put everything that I'm keeping. As you can see, it is majority of it. And I did arrange it from my winter clothes up to like sleeveless blouses to dresses and rompers. And down here is, eh, I kind of did arrange it. I did take out a lot of shirts. I just didn't show it because there were nothing interesting. Just took out really old shirts. And this one is stuff that I am keeping, but don't want to be in the closet anymore. But I don't have any place to put them yet. But this is like a crochet project that I did. So I'm not throwing it away. A sweater that I knitted and some of like the sewing projects, future sewing projects that I might want to use. So it's there for now, but yeah, that's pretty much the closet and brought down the two bags of clothes that I am donating. But this pile is clothes that I am selling. And this one are just clothes that I can neither donate nor sell because they're just like very worn down with this one. I have no choice but just to throw them away there are old underwear but with this one i might just cut it up and use it as rags if you're filipina you know what i'm talking about but yeah that is my closet clean out i hope you kind of enjoyed watching that um if you're into that type of cleaning and organization videos that is my closet clean out thanks for cleaning decluttering and organizing with me and sorry i look horrible but that's proof that i actually did the work when the camera was turned off but if you enjoy this type of decluttering and organization video please let me know down in the comments and thank you so much for watching if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you're new here I hope you subscribe. I come up with videos every week. And if you haven't yet, check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day. Bye.